to find a build that encompasses commitment and a vision and not caring what other people think. Something that has a deeper meaning and comes out in a really cool, unique build. That's what I'm keeping my eye out for today. the Hot Wheels Legends Tour presented by Mobile One. It is a beautiful day in Bentonville, Arkansas. I am Emily Reeves and I am with Flying Sparks Garage on YouTube and Motor Trend Live Love Wrench. My husband and I were brought here by Mechanics Wear to be a judge here at the show. There's over a hundred cars. It's absolutely beautiful. I think we should go see some cars. My name's Dave Major, and my car is a 1957 BMW Izetta. The idea to build this car came from my hobbies as a pilot and antique car restorer. I found a body one time down in, in Oklahoma on eBay. It was a perfect body, but it had no parts with it. There was no transmission, no frame. So I kind of went off the deep end, and since I'm a pilot, I decided to put an airplane engine on the back end of it. We went from a one-cylinder engine to a six-cylinder, 190 horsepower engine. It's about 435 cubic inches, so it's just huge. Some people think it flies, and then we show them the skis, and then they think it goes on the water. That's some of the questions we get. My name is Calvin Lutz. It's a 1969 International Harvester Cab Over 1600. It used to be a green truck. I didn't intend to build it as a Hot Wheel. It, everyone kept telling me it looked like a Hot Wheel, so I put red stripes on the wheels, and here we are. I've been messing with cars since I was 14. It's basically a stock 350 Chevrolet with a supercharger on it. The supercharger gives it enough oomph to get you in trouble if you want to. The spoiler just was there for balance. It needed something. It's got this big boxy cab, so it needed some balance behind that motor. I remade the dash panels and put my own gauges in it. it rides like a Cadillac. It's got a rack and pinion steering on the front, and it's got coilover suspension in the back. If I drive it in town, people almost wreck turning around to look at it. My hair's all right, right? Yes. Okay, it's checking. Yeah. My name's Ray Morris from Chelsea, Oklahoma. It's a 2000 Peterbilt 379, known as Murder Pete. Every truck on the road is polished up, polished wheels, polished tanks. I decided to step out of the box and go a different route to air ride front end, the cowl induction hood, 10 inch stacks, double hump rear fenders. Everything's powder coated, nothing's polished. The shifters is kind of a four-stage design of a triple stick shifter or doubles, then I modified it to three. When I go to a car show, if anybody that walks up to it can climb in it, have a seat, take your picture, I don't care. It's all for fun. And to me, it's just a living and I love doing it. All the judges have gathered and we've come up with a top four. Today was amazing. So many folks came to see cars and so many people brought incredible builds. The fact that it's a daily driver and it's a hot rod, rat rod, and has a military background to it. He did an incredible job, even down to the interior touches, just amazing. Yeah. And, I mean, there, there's all this intricate stuff underneath yeah. the hood. Like, he carved the metal up in a way so it almost looked like leather. Yeah. It was so cool to see that work. Great color. Great yeah, color, absolutely. great craftsmanship, and he built it rapidly, too. Yeah, yeah. And Every corner of the build was detail. If you take a look at all the kids that were going by and all the families that were going by and making it really seem like it's something that they would take off the shelf and buy. Well, I think we got a winner. Everybody agree? Yeah. Yeah. All good? All the same? Go, team. go Hot Wheels! Go Hot Wheels! Go Hot Wheels! Go Hot Wheels. Go Hot Wheels. We want to thank our sponsors, Mobile One, Walmart, of course, for letting us use this property, Mechanics Wear, Dickies, and Xbox. Okay, you guys, it's the big moment. We're gonna announce the one car that is going on to the SEMA show. Our winner for this stop at the Hot Wheels Legends Tour is the Cab Over Mid-Engine International. Head on up, you are the winner. Can you believe it, you're going to SEMA? Uh, actually, I do not believe it, but I'll live with it. I drove a 69 International Harvester C1600 hot rod truck today. 
it's starting to sink in, it feels great. The most entertaining part of this thing always for me is creating something from nothing. That is the coolest thing. Anyone can bolt a bunch of parts together, but if it doesn't have the right look, the right stance, if it doesn't grab you and say, I'm a hot rod, then you did it wrong. It's the ultimate trophy. It is absolutely the ultimate trophy. I can't think of a car show or anything else I could do that would be more rewarding than making that into a Hot Wheel. It's... You guys still have a chance to have your car chosen as the next die cast Hot Wheels. We hope to see you at the next event.